Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and give it up one time for all of my gym stars! What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BKA the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Make sure y'all subscribe for more daily 2K content and all of that. I put out a I put out a video yesterday while I was hooping. Hell of a game, 30 points over two games. All greens, everything was green, man. And I put the jump shot at the end of that video. So if you're wondering what that jump shot was, go check it out. But it's the same jump shot that I put out a video about. If y'all watch my videos, then y'all wouldn't have these questions. You know, watch the video to the end. But anyway, man, y'all let me know. Um, let me know what y'all think. First things first, man. Oh, I pops and freaks all the honey. Shirts. Shirts are gone out. First round of shirts gone out. Um, you should y'all should have got the tracking information. Hopefully y'all get them by the weekend and stuff, man. But check it out, man. This this is how some of them joints came out, man. This is one somebody sent me. You know, my man sent me a picture right here, and uh, we got that on there. It's it's tall. That thing is like 14 inches. Only thing about stuff like that is because he's skinny. You know, like the image is not wide, so it only can be like six inches wide. Or you know, if it's any tall, it'll be longer than the shirt. But hey, came out awesome. Hey, this is one that um is some that you know that one of one of the people put. I don't want to put people's names out there, man. That's why I'm just saying somebody. Hey, this was ordered by that same person. Look at this. I'm not in a bad mood. Everyone is just a noy. Hey, Bridget said she she needs. She said, hey, I need that. Hey, if y'all want me to put any of this stuff up for y'all to be able to buy, let me know because I know somebody gonna ask about this one right here. He put that one up, bro. That that joint came out fire. Like like the colors and everything you see how clear the colors are you know you don't got no fading you don't got nothing it's just vibrant and all that that's because of the printer that we use and all of that good stuff and if you're wondering how those guys got those shirts look man this is how they did it they came to the site the breeze t site link is down in the description they went and found themselves the image pretty much you find yourself an image that's big enough hey we'll use them right here the artist oh it's not it's not big enough that was gonna use my autism awareness joint uh but it wasn't big enough hey look living my best life with my friends or whatever that is boom you do it like that make it make it like there you go bam you resize it and you know we gonna do we gonna do the rest we gonna do the rest of it man you know what i'm talking about so you do that bam it'll be on the shirt you can see how it gonna kind of look and then we'll handle the rest that's all you gotta do man come to the site we also got a lot of other workout like i said you can't be a gym star Without that, I just want to show y'all some of the custom stuff. All these joints, man. Look, uh, uh, better sort than sorry. Like I said, we 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 try to do it big over here. And then the coupe to grass is a hey, beast mode activated. And we got all the NFL teams. We gonna get all the basketball teams too, man. So look, my boy Tay too sick. Hey, he ordered one of the Kansas City ones. You know, we got the we got the uh, Steelers down there. Uh, everybody love the Steelers. My wife is a Steelers fan, so that's why we got that right there. Bridget got one on right now. Uh, but, you know, y'all make sure y'all check that out, man. Uh, shameless plug right there. Y'all are helping me, you know, grow that business, and I really appreciate it. Like I said, the first round of shirts is already out. Um, if you haven't got notification today, you'll be getting it today. Um, and all the other rounds should be out today. Everything else will be out today, but everything else uh, has already gone. Now, I just wanted to show y'all, if you're waiting on your shirt, that's what some of them look like. And um, if y'all want me to put any of those shirts right there in the store, let me know. But uh, check it out, man. Big, big trade, big trade talk right now. The Atlanta Hawks have acquired Clint Capella from the uh, from the Houston Rockets by way of a four-way trade, man. And look, we're just going to go through the trade real quick. Hey, the, the, the Rockets keep Robert Covington away from, uh, keep, the, Robert, keep Robert Covington away from the Hawks. And they are also acquired Jordan Bell, so that's good. They said they're trying to play small ball, man. So Rob probably gonna play the three. They said PJ PJ Tucker probably gonna play the five. You know, hey, it is what it is. We're gonna see that. Jordan Bell can probably step in there and play that. If I ain't mistaken, Jordan Bell pretty tall. Uh I don't know exactly how tall he is, but you know. Yeah, how tall, how tall you here, bro, bro? You can't even tell you can't even tell. I mean, let's, let's find out Jordan Bell height. I don't know how tall he is. They say he's 6'8. Okay. They really are going small ball. Hey, it is what it is. But look, this is the Atlanta Hawks roster right now. But you can add Clint Capella and Nene Hilario to that. Now look, I know Nene. 
is probably about 35. He really ain't got a whole lot left in the tank right now. Nene might be my age. Nene 37. Damn. Damn. Hey, look. Hey, he could probably give give you a couple of minutes, so they probably just gonna get rid of his contract, and they probably just absorb that contract just to get it. But he hadn't done anything this season, so um, maybe he'll get some minutes from us. But I look, we just wanted Clint Capella. We got Clint Capella for the next three years, so you got him this year, and then you got him for three years after that. Gotta love it. That contract is awesome. Uh, he'll be beside John Collins. He'll be Clint, Clint will be playing center. John Collins will be playing power forward. Now he gets to play a natural position that he wants to play. Got Jabari Parker uh, at the three. Got Cam Reddish. We really don't know if he's going to play the two or the three. Uh, got um, Sean Hunter. Uh, we got Jeff Teague back. And then, obviously, you got you got Trey Young at the point, man. So, hey, look, making some noise. Maybe we can make some noise in the East and win some games. And Trey can be talked about in the same way that Luka being talked about because Trey's numbers is damn near as good. They just been, ah, 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 ah. Luka's winning, though. But Luka's winning. Yeah, but every time they play a team with a winning record, they fucking lose. Anyway, um, yeah, oh, yeah anybody good. You know what? I don't want to. I don't want to get no Luca hate on this video because y'all boys are fanatical about Luca and him being the greatest player in the league. Some people talking about Luca top five. I like top five. What? Not yet. Maybe. Maybe top ten. He might be top five one day, but they like top five in the NBA right now. I say, bro, yo. Like if you just talking about just, just played this season, you still gotta go. Uh, gotta go LeBron. You gotta go AD. Gotta go Kawhi. Uh. What, we just gonna discount? Maybe, hey, I still say Russ and James, and we ain't even got the Giannis yet. Like, bro, it's still, and we ain't get the, and the people that didn't play this year, we ain't got the Kevin Durant. Uh, we ain't say nothing about Kyrie. Like, it's just, I just think it's just too early. Yeah, he, he probably gonna be top five one day after, after a lot of people go out. We ain't even say nothing about Paul George. It's a lot of people that we left out, man. Just, 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 I just think you, you jumping your guns a little bit. Just like I wouldn't say Trey Young is top five. You know, Steph is out. Steph, Steph is out. Clay out. Like all, it's a lot of guys that's out. So I guess if you want to say this season, I can't even say this season. But especially when all these guys come back next year, no, uh, uh, not yet. But when these guys retire, yeah, he definitely gonna be top five, probably. Hey, it is what it is. Minnesota gets Malik Beasley, uh, Juancho Hernando Gomez, uh, Hernan Gomez, um. Jared Vanderbilt. Let me know what y'all think, though. Is he top five right now or not? I don't think so. I don't see how he can get in there. And put your top five down there in the, in the bottom. Uh, and they also get Evan Turner. Denver Nuggets get Shabazz Napier and um, and, and Keita bates Jop and uh, Juvenile and uh, Noah Vene. And uh, if you tell me that Jared Green don't look like Juvenile, boy, you tripping. Anyway, so that makes our roster look good, man. Look, Bimbry, Bimbry gonna be playing the two. Oh, you know, off and on. That's where he comes in and plays relief. Man, I really wish Cam Reddish could play that too, man. And then we'll be super straight. But he got to come into his own. But, man, it's a nice roster right now. We got Herder. I mean, Herder plays the two pretty well. It's just gonna, This is just going to be something that's going to sure up the roster. And uh, going forward, we, we, we got like our, we have our, what would you call it? The basis going forward. We just need to get a little pieces here. Got Jabari Parker. Jabari Parker is actually playing really well this year. Um, right now, you know, like, like he's playing really well. Got uh, Alex Lynn. Alex Lynn really, you know, he's doing what he's supposed to do, giving you space eater minutes and stuff like that. But uh, I was really surprised and pleased at what Jabari Parker's giving us. Cam Reddish giving us, you know, a decent amount of points, uh, you know, a decent amount off the bench. Sean Hunter's giving you some good, uh, some good defense and, uh, you know, some good minutes and stuff like that. But you got to have a bona fide superstar out there, man. Obviously, the, 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 the crux of the team or the, the – the, the main part of the team are these two guys right here. You got John Collins and you got Trey Young. And then everybody else going to fall in line. But Jabari Parker is like the third leading scorer with 15 a game. Alex Lynn is eating space. We got Cam Reddish. He's trying to figure the game out. But, you know, hey, that's cool. DeAndre Hunter hooping. Jeff Teague is teaching. Um, you know, Vince is out there getting a, getting a few quality minutes. Bembry is giving a few quality minutes, you know, stuff like that, man. So hopefully, y'all think it was a good trade for the Hawks? And do y'all think it was an even better trade for um for the Houston Rockets? Because more importantly, the uh, Lakers can't get Robert Covington now. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. But on the NBA 2K news, man, something I want to do is uh, I want to highlight a, a person here, man, real quick. This guy right here has been putting out videos, grinding, doing a lot of stuff, man. And uh, what he's doing, 
what he's been doing is I'm gonna show you his videos. But hey, this is his this is his uh name right here. We're gonna put the link down in the description. Basement Society Bad Dog. We have all that stuff right there. Look, this is what he does. He does like uh you know he does like the 2K shoe reviews and and some stuff like that. But that's where I this is where I ran into this video. I was looking at the Paul Georges and stuff like that. And uh, hey, look, man. He puts out videos, he does shoe reviews, he did the Kobe Bryant Proto review. And you know, he got some other stuff going, man, but I like to, I like to see people succeed. So, if you wanna know what the Kobe Bryant Protos are like, the Proto uh, Fives was like, man, he got a nice little shoe review right there. Go by there and check it out, link is down in the description. Very in-depth, more in-depth than I, than I care to care about because I'm not a sneakerhead. Only thing I need to know is, are they light and how they feel on your feet? That's all I care about. But he goes with the mids. He talking the mid soul, the regular soul, all that stuff, man. So make sure y'all go check him out. And if you want to know, you want to get a um a good review on the Paul Georges, man. Hey, he got it for you right here. He goes very in depth how they feel, how they look, how they do all of that good stuff, man. Make sure you go by there, check my man out. Um, you know, link is down in the description. Also from Reddit. Cause we didn't have much stuff from anything else. Hey, y'all already know about all the people getting banned. Let me know how y'all feel about the people getting banned for something that 2K did. When they, look, people played the red ball, blue ball. We knew it was wrong. We knew that you shouldn't have exploited it, but still that's a 2K issue, man. They should not have banned nobody for that thing, man. But they banned a lot of people on January 31st. That's why Badge Plug got banned. And I just think it's a, a, a load of malarkey, a bunch of BS, man. But hey, it is what it is. Look, what's the best jumper? For, what's the best jump shot and badges for a seven foot um, glass lock? I don't know why he put slut on there. I don't know. We're not even doing those. That's that's hardly uh, Thursday. It's tomorrow. But look, man, are people having having trouble finding my videos? Is this just like 2K just don't even put my videos out because? You shouldn't have questions like this. I got the best jump shots out every week. I put out the best jump shot, period, for big men. And then I played with that jump shot on my small guy yesterday because people was like, does it work for every bit? Yes, it works for every bit. Go back and watch the video, man. You gotta get on, get off of this thing thinking people gonna help you out on Reddit and go watch some Jay Easy videos, man. I make videos for people that aren't that good to be able to get better. The problem is, I make videos for people's homeboys who aren't that good so that they can get better and get up to respectability. The problem is everybody has some controversy on which homeboy they are. They don't know that they're the trash homeboy that needs to get better. Everybody thinks that they're the homeboy that's carried and getting sold by the IRLs. But hey, look, regardless of what, man, y'all need to get on that, man. Get on, get on, get on, get on the JE train, J Easy train, man, and, and then see what's happening, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the video, all that good stuff. Last but not least, we got this one guy. Any advice for gaining subs as a small YouTuber? I'm glad you asked me this question. Everybody wants something easy. Everybody wants a handout. Everybody feels like they have the talent to be a great YouTuber. Bro, I've been on here 10 years. I still haven't figured it out. But let me show you something, man. If you want to be great, you gotta look at the greats. And Cash Nasty, one of the greats. Like it, hate it, or love it, like it, or leave it, whatever. Six years ago, Cash Nasty. These are his views that he was getting. And you know it was less than this because people just go back and watch the video. 10,000 views, 4,000 views, 2,000 views, 3,000 views, 3,000. Still getting 3,000. He had one video that did pretty well, 31,000 out of nowhere. Look at this. Look at this. This is NBA 2K13, right? 2,000 views, 3,000, 4,000. You know that they were less than this because people just go back and watch your old videos. This is six years ago now. Still getting meager views. Tries everything, right? Grand Theft Auto, GTA, because that's when GTA uh, 5 came out. All this stuff. Look, tried everything that he could. Everybody played all these other games. Everybody played Call of Duty. Look at this. 12,000, then you go back to 1,000. 197,000, then you go back to 9,000 because that's getting residual views, and then you back to 1,000. Okay, uh, best jump shot, 2K14, 500,000. Now look, look, back down to five. You got, you, he got a couple of videos that hit, updated roster, blah, 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 all that. Okay, look, but look, look what we gonna go stay. Look, let's let's go a few months into the future. Boom, still down there, three, 4,000, three, 4,000, 5,000. 5,000, 1,000, 2,000. See, we go back to normalcy. This is still six years ago, right? Look at this. Just look at what I'm trying to tell you. He had a few hits here and there, 
But for the most part, 2,000, 2,000, 7,000, 1,000. Look at this now. Look. 4,000, 4,000. New game come out. 2K14, 4,000, 4,000, 5,000, 15,000 on one video. 1,000, 3,000. Ash come on the scene. 26,000. Still, look. 1,000, 4,000, 2,000. This is NBA 2K14. We two years into the process. Hey, we see Mal for the first time. 23,000. Um... 4,000 still look just this is this is a process. This is a grind. This is what you can expect All right 3,000 3,000 3,000 5,000 5,000 he has some hits here and there But look, this is what you are at that point. Look at this still NBA 2k uh, pack opening 38,000 still same thing 900 on this one. I don't know how they gets 900 but whatever 3,000 5,000 5,000 6,000 we still this is to NBA 2k this NBA 2k 14 now and you're still not really getting any views, right? This is two years into your process. You're still not really getting any views. Everybody can do one of these and get a, and get a hit and all of that. But when you return to normalcy, look. Hell, I even did that. I had videos this year that was getting 20,000 views. And then look where I look. We right back down to 4,000. This is what you are, right? Keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. He played a game, 5,000. He get a little 20,000. He 6,000. Now, this is two years into the process. It's saying five years, right? So now he's been going two full years of putting out content and he's just getting regular views two full years now look at this same thing still six thousand you know you got some hits you got a week worth of hits everybody get their week worth of hits and then you still under ten thousand back down to three thousand four thousand five thousand you know you get thirty thousand thirty thousand fifteen one oh one oh two this is when they was doing the king of the court tournament and stuff so everybody's watching those videos look but still we still here we still here. But look though, look what it does. It dips back now. 5,000, 8,000. Now he get a few, he get a few of these, you know, the little rage charges and all of that. But then six, 6,000, 7,000. I'm, I'm, I know this is long, but you got to sit through it because the process ain't quick. Look, this is what he did. Main, mainly he getting 5,000 views, 5,000 views. He'll get a hit here and there, but then look, 8,000. These might be ones that people went back and looked at. So that's probably, it's probably mistelling. But uh, a lot of people probably went back and looked at these videos and, and boosted the views on them. Now, right here, where we at? This is NBA 2K15, you know, still around the 10,000 to 12,000 views. He got 120 right here. This is uh, NBA 2K. But look, here we go. Look, after that after that flurry of, of hits, you go right back to under 5,000. I mean, under 10,000. You see what I'm saying? Do you, is this kicking home? Is this, is this banging into your head? This is the best to ever do it right here. Besides Chris Move and people like that. This is the this is the top. This is the cream of the 2K crop. And so when people be like, you got this many subs and you only getting this many views, Cash was in the same position. He could have quit. And look, right here. NBA 2K, what is this? 15? This is NBA 2K15. He getting more views, more views, more views. A flurry of hits. Still back around about 15. Look. 15 he got you know he, he doing good he, he gets some good money i ain't gonna lie to you now he's consistently over 10,000. it took from nba 2k 13 and then but look you can still put out one that still gets you nine and like i said then here we go back down the whole point of what i'm trying to tell y'all is this thing takes time now three years in now he's averaging well yeah, we still got a couple of them that's down there we want to see Look, then you get a 10,000. Like I said, a lot of these probably have been watched over and over because of the thumbnails. It's awesome and stuff like that. But I just want y'all to know that success don't come overnight, man. Look, now we in the NBA 2K, uh, which one? This is 15 still. We midway through 15. Now he's starting to average, you know, good views or what have you. But it's still up and down. It's still up and down. It's still up and down in the 27 to 30. This is what y'all say. There ain't really no views. 27 to 30. That's what y'all be acting like ain't nothing. But look though, look at it. Just just keep looking. Look now we constantly over. Now we're constantly over ten thousand. But still, it's not really what y'all would say is like a breakthrough breakthrough. Now so look, it took three years. It took two years to get consistently over ten thousand. Right now, he, he uh, here we go. The uh, one of the Scotty Pippen they got over a million views. We still in the in the meager area, right? In the in the mid tier YouTuber area. Where it's, where it's a, you know, 30,000, 40,000. Look, we still on NBA 2K15. 30,000, 40,000, 30,000, 40,000. It's still mid-tier. He's getting some hits, but it's still, but look. 
We still here, four years ago. Look at how many videos he put out, bro. Look at how many videos he put out. This is a video like every day for three years for regular views. Like four years. Look at this. This one even got 24,000. Look at, just keep on looking, man. Look at this. Then he started doing, you know, like the little transformation video. This was 2K15 still. Still getting regular views. He was streaming a lot, doing a lot of stuff, but this is still regular views. Look, I want y'all to see how long it took for him to start averaging over 100,000 views and people take that for granted like they like they just hitting the something. Look, 300,000. He still got views, but we still in the 40,000. We're not even over averaging over 50,000 views and we are three years into this process already. Look at this. 100,000, look, but then we got 540. We're we not even averaging over 50,000 views. And I'm not saying it like, like it's not a lot, because it is a lot. It's a lot. But look, pack and play, Cash Nasty and the Flight Mike. That's my boy right there, the Flight Mike. So you know what I'm saying? He collabed with the Flight Mike. And now we are almost consistently over 100,000. Look where we are, though. Look where we are from where we started. This is four years ago. We started, in, we started it with NBA 2K13. Where we at? NBA 2K16. This is when Cash really took all the way to hell off. NBA 2K16. Now we're starting to take off. You got to sit there and grind and grind and grind. Now we consistently over 100,000. Grind. And then not even always over 100,000. But after this, this is where he really, really just took the fuck off and, and didn't look back. What you got to realize is if Cash... The greatest of us, the best of us, had to sit there and put in three years of getting regular, regular views. Why should it be any different from for, for you? We still in NBA 2K16, and we still not even, like, popping, popping yet. You know what I'm saying? This ain't what y'all would say is popping, popping. And I know I just did so much time on this, man, but I need y'all to understand that this is a process. And you're going to do this for years. If you ain't got the heart to do this for three years, for damn near for free, look, now he started, now Now look, now he's doing with just of the ladies and stuff like that. It's over now. This is three years ago. It's over with now. This is when, this is when a lot of people, this is where he just really, really, really took off. He had to get regular, regular views for three years, almost four years. NBA 2K, 13, 14, 15, 16 is when he started getting real views. Just think about that. So if the best of us had to do that, why do you think you should be any different? That's why a lot of times, like when you ask Cash something or something like that, he'd be like, bro, you just got to grind. Because that's what he did. He just grinded. And I just showed y'all that. So like when people be coming through, be like, damn, you know, this, this, and that, bro. What? I started 2K in 2K 16. So we at 20 now. I'm for you. I done missed my window, I guess. But the thing is, for you, if you're a smaller YouTuber, you look at Cash and what he had to go through, and you know those views are inflated because a lot of people went back and watched those videos, right? A lot of old people go back and watch the old videos. Just like if I go back and watch, um, like, my first Call of Duty video, I know it got 27 views, right? And so what I want to show y'all is, what I want to show y'all is, it's, it's different. It's just different because people go back and watch a lot of your old videos, like your oldest video. My first video on my channel ever was just a young man having fun. My oldest video. I already know this. Look, this video says it's got 8,000 views with me playing. I was playing with, um, I was out there playing with AM1. Like this video said it got 8,000 views. It's just because it's my oldest video. And I don't even have that many subs. But this this was my first video right here. Me playing me playing basketball. With um, you know, I was out there on the court playing with Ann one and stuff like that. And uh look at it. Eh, late. Hold on. Do I got the one where I, do I got what do we start out? Look, look, this is how high I used to jump, man. Look at this. This is how high I used to be able to jump. Now get that shit out of here! Look, I used to be able to jump like, and this is from the vert, the Gerald vert. Get that shit out of here. Look, I used to be able to do all this stuff. Can't do it no more, man. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Give me that rock. Give me that rock. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Going to the rim. Did I get another block? I had another block around here somewhere, man. I want to show y'all that. The video already hella long now anyway, so it don't matter. 
Look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. The clutch. Is this my clutch block? Hold on. I had a clutch block in here somewhere. I think that's where I got a steal. And then, oh, yeah. This is where I had to steal and went to the rim. I had a clutch block in here somewhere, man. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. This is where I came back to the rim. And the little dude was down there. He got his ass dunked on. Y'all saw that. Uh, where's my clutch block, man? I'm telling you, bro. I used to be able to get all the way up. I know I had a clutch block in here. Oh, yeah, that's what it was giving me fire. They threw dude out the game because I dunked on him. Uh, yeah, here we go. Look at this clutch block. Man, get that shit out of here! Nigga. Hold on, hold on one more time. We got to see that one more time. Man, get that bullshit out of here! And then I, and look, everybody else stopping thinking the play over. The play ain't over, man. It ain't over, right? But anyway, like I said, I'm saying all that to say this. My first video, it says it's got 8,000 views. We know that's not the case. My second video, Call of Duty, certainly didn't get 3.5 thousand views. Uh, this, 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 bro, these videos are not getting no thousand views. The first video, this video probably got uh, um, maybe 25. This one got maybe 30. Uh, this one actually got 400 because it was a nuke. Um, it was a nuke. So that one got 400 views. These videos was not getting, bro, You do you really think that my nine years ago, my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, my 12th video, my 11th video got 11,000 views in my 12th? No. So people go back and watch the videos. What I'm trying to tell you is a lot of his video views from back then are inflated. And because they're inflated, you know, it, 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 it's like he got less views. He was doing it for damn near no views, man. And I know I spent too long on this segment, man, but I need y'all to understand that this is a grind. It's a perfect, you gotta keep doing it. And you're not just gonna get rich off YouTube or make a lot of money for nothing. You gotta look at the people that came before you. Cash was grinding. I looked at those videos back then. Those videos, three, everything was three to 5,000 views for like three or four years. Then he blew up, and then he, you know, he got that. You got, it takes time, man. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. This has already been too long, but, hey, I know y'all don't care about the history lesson, but I'm out of here, man. Until next time. Hey, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Godspeed. The whole moral of this story was you got to grind your ass off, man, and eventually, eventually you might break through. Or you might not. You don't, you don't know. But the one thing that's consistent is you got to grind. And I'm out. Peace.